what is going on so here we go guys told you we were going to be making it out to uh st Clair. well we made it got the uh got the champ in the background we're gonna put the uh, electronics on so uh hey stay stay with us about to be some smallmouth action happening right now not seeing much activity over here See right here? I look at this. Taller grass. Look at this though. Look how all this. We're just gonna mark here. Let's just do this. There's grass down there. Well, you got one? Yeah. Nice, Nate hooks up. This is a fucking good one. Hey, hell yeah. I don't know what it is. It just loaded up. Oh, dude, look at it. Look at pike. Big old look pike. pike Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Bring it up here. Come on. Bring it up here. Come on. See that it's a drum. It could be a drum. It's a drum. It's a drum. You want that? That's a small mouth, dude. You sure? That is a small mouth. Is it? Bring it over here. That's a small mouth. Dude, get that fucking I'm right here. Hey. It's, it's, in my, it's in my bag. It's in my bag. Right, right, right foot. Right foot. Here. Right Fill that live wall up. Right Kidnap me for a second. Hang on. First time to St. Clair. Five minutes in. Got zeros on the scale. Four one, four four, four four. What's well, a big old boy, dude? All right, four four. four. Let's throw it back. Let's get a pick. That's what we came here for. Good one. Good one. Huh? Good one. I got a hook in my finger. Oh man. This guy's tight. I don't want to give up. That's a good one. 
Look at him down there, old, old piece of, big old piece of bronze. Snap this line if you want. Nice one, dude. God, that's another fucking big giant. One. Look at that fucking guy. That is a giant. Maybe they're feeding on that bigger tube. Oh, oh, oh! Here we have another too. Look God at that, dude. dang, man! That's another hog. Look at that, dude. Meat. Dude, we should have. We should have kept a bunch of these. We could have held them up. Keep them in the well. Put them in that. Uh, that three, two, one. Got it. Good one. Oh my god. Okay. Help you out here. Okay. Scale. Zero. I'm gonna say he's. I'm gonna say he's another four pounder. So yeah, he's another four. Oh, he may be as big as the last one. Three, three. I think three twelve, three thirteen, three fourteen. Yeah, somewhere right around there. Yeah. Three thirteen. God, it's a fatty in it. All right, guys. So lost all my audio right here. So apologize for that. But basically, I was. Um, Ripping the tube off the bottom, I was using that zoom tube and ripping it off the bottom and, and right when I went to lift it up, one hammered it. So, um, yeah, no audio, but uh, using that Dobbins rod, more of my worm rod I used back home and just kind of horse this fish in using 17 pound test line, fluorocarbon, and just kind of horsey, man. Didn't really let him fight, uh, didn't give him a chance. I was having a slow day actually um, up to this point. And then things started turning around where I started figuring some things out. And so, uh, yeah, this is one of, one of my better fish of the day. All right, guys, more bad audio, unfortunately. So as you can see, Nate, he hooks up. We're going on a drift, and we go through a pack of them, and I actually get hooked up as well. So we get a little double action going on here. What's kind of crazy you're going to see happens that comes up next is during this whole process, he's got the necks. He's got a bigger one than mine. I fight mine up, and the process of me laying down on my side I buried a hook in my back on a spy bait. So I had a rod pinned to my back the whole time. So I kind of basically had to lay there and wait for him to land his fish because I couldn't get up because the whole rod wanted to get up with me. So interesting time, nonetheless, no harm. Just had to cut a barb off a, off a hook. It, it punctured through, made a little pinhole, nothing serious, no harm, no foul. But definitely a memory to re will remember getting a double and him having to cut a hook out of my back. Yeah, it was about right here. I'm telling Nate, 
that hook is buried in my back get your fish in as you can see I was using the twilight color um, that was a z-man bait so twilight color on these fish we just kept rotating through a series of baits uh, we were finding what was working for us and you know for each of us kind of what we had confidence in but yeah I was telling them get that fish off your hook get back here and get this hook out of my back right now Oh, big one, big one, big one, big one, big one, head shaker. Dude, he hit, he hit it on the way down. That could be a pike, just look like Mike did. Big one. That's the stand up like No. Shit, that's a big ass ground. See that? You got a fucking monster small one. It's head shaking like a son of a gun. Well, that's what that muskie was doing. Take it easy. That is a big fish, whatever it is. Oh boy. I see it. That's small a mouth. That's a small mouth. That is a giant small mouth. Giant. That is small a mouth. giant, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Just take your, you take it easy. That is a Adjusted giant. Your egg. Adjusted your egg. That is a giant small mouth. Come on, Jaws. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, that is a big one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is this is my big one for the day. You ain't done yet. Get ready. Come on. Come on. Get ready. Don't stab him. I'm not. Just bring him, bring him here. Bring him here. Oh. Get that net out of the way. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Get him in there, dog. Yeah, you got yourself, hey. you got yourself a big I, one. I got in. I got into the club. You got yourself a four pounder at least, man. Golly! Oh, son! Oh, son! Hey, that there is a freaking magnum. Yeah, we're gonna put him in the box. Oh, he's going in the box. What's up YouTube? This is Nate. Uh, I'm here to uh, show you what I caught my fish on today since I caught all the big ones. Uh, early this morning, I caught my first real big fish on Strike King Dream Shot in the, uh, what is this, the, uh, the morning dawn pattern, morning dawn color. And then I, uh, was able to surmise that they were on kind of more of a perch or goby type bite, so I went with the uh, the uh, green pumpkin, purple gold. It's more of a it's more of a goby type color. And uh, after that, I caught uh, several on a tube. The tube I was catching them on was Strike King tube, just a three and a half inch, three and a half inch model. This is a uh, dark melon perch with gold flake in it. Uh, it's got some copper and some purple in it. Uh, I just kind of stayed with that same theme all day with the with the dark with the dark green, the copper flakes, the purple. It, I think it just it just attracted the smallmouth the best. But at the end of the day, I caught my biggest one on uh, 
the uh, the old Elastec Z-Man. Just a it's just a Ned or just a just a just a TRD. Uh, but I was drop shotting it. Found that it was a good good profile size. Bigger ones really seem to want something a little bit bigger than just this little bitty guy. Although this one did very well. And this one was more buoyant than it stayed. We were just kind of drifting these. And it just seemed to move and shake in the water the way just right. Just, just the way the, the big ones wanted them. And there at the end we really, really started nailing them. So uh, I caught a lot of really big fish today. It was a great time. I wouldn't replace it with anything. It's, uh, it's first time ever here, and we had fun. All right, guys, so we're wrapping the day up. Me and Nate are uh, had an awesome day. It's been a grind, but uh, we figured something out there at the end, so we want to kind of go through kind of the few baits that actually worked for us um, today, so kind of how we caught them. Early in the day, we actually, uh, for me personally, what worked for me was this Twilight. It's a trick shot from Z-Man. Uh, these baits are very buoyant, so it worked out really well. Just drop shotting. Um, then later in the day, as the, as the day went on, couldn't really make anything um, happen, so I went and picked up the old tube. So the root beer uh, pepper green, trying to imitate a perch. Uh, this did a well caught my second biggest uh, smallmouth of the day. Uh, just rig it up with a 3 8 ounce um, bite me um, tube jig. Um, just rigged it up, 60 degree line tie, worked well, stayed out of the grass. So that was my second biggest one, and then my biggest one of the day came on. Another Z-Man, the big uh, TRD, actually just nose hooking this and um, making this actually just drop shot in this. And I think it worked out really well, ended up catching a perch. Uh, I think it was mimicking the perch down there where they could really just see that flash of that chartreuse. So today was awesome. First time actually out on St. Clair ever. Um, came out here to the big water. We just shot out to the deep part. Kind of saw some boats, thought maybe we'll try that. And then we just started doing things on our own. We actually put this piece, uh, the pieces of the puzzle together here at the end of the day. And we had probably the best little um, stint of catches right at the end of the day. So. Nate did awesome. Um, I was just trying to, I was just trying to keep pace with him because he was tearing them up today. But the rods we threw them on. This is the rod I threw them on. Uh, it's a Phoenix. It's the uh, Feather Series 7.1 medium. Um, I had it paired up with a Lose um, Speed Spin. It's a 300 series, and then I had a. That's actually Spider Wire. It's that blue camo braid on eight pound. Uh, had eight pound sunlight. Uh, as a leader, so we did that with a 3 8 ounce tungsten drop, uh, drop shot, just straight drop shot weight, and then when I was working the tube, Dobbins Champion uh, XP 734, paired that up with an old Daiwa, this old Daiwa reel, it's actually Cabell's Prodigy, but it's a Daiwa series, and then there's your uh, old tube that made it happen, so awesome time on St. Clair, we're wrapping this day up, we're actually going to come out in the morning, so we're just trying to wrap some things up for today so just want to give you guys the breakdown of what what it was today that made today a special day on the water thanks guys have fun hope you guys like this give it a thumbs up subscribe i want to try to grow this channel show you guys the adventures that uh we get ourselves into the highs the lows the funny times everything in between so hope to see you guys next time peace